A very welcome to you. We are here with third of July's Godly blessing. Now, Godfather is giving us all the different points of wisdom, of knowledge, on a daily basis, and we can use those wisdom points and we can churn them and go deeper into the ocean and find out the pearls of those knowledge and come back and take out the wisdom and use it for our own, our own purpose on a daily basis. Now, that is only possible if we are churning that points. And if that is only possible if we know those points and if it's only possible when we remember those points. So Godfather says that may you be constantly cheerful and carefree by making the treasures given to you by the Father your own by churning them. The people in the world are actually so self-conscious about whether they are thinking right, talking right, acting right. Why? Because they don't know what is the right way of thinking, talking and acting. And that's what God does. God says, I reform you, I purify you. You were a beautiful diamond when I sent you on earth, but you have become a tarnished one because of the karmas which you have done and the habits which you have created, which are not at all pure anymore. So that's what God says, I keep on giving you treasures of knowledge, keep on giving you knowledge, wisdom, so that you can transform yourself. And then you can practice being a different personality, different person on a daily basis. Through your thoughts, words and actions, when you meet people, when you are in a situation, when you are facing situations, when you are managing things, when you are managing people, when you are leading people, when you are following someone. So you have wisdom for every situation. So God says the picture of your children churning and having remembrance on the path of devotion is that of Vishnu because Vishnu is just lying down like this on a Sheshnag coiled around under him and he is thinking deeply. So that is churning, having remembrance of God. The snake was made into a bed. That means the Sheshnag having five different heads is depicting lust, anger, greed, ego attachment has been under control of Vishnu. That's why it's under as a bed. The vices were controlled. You will not have to worry about being defeated by Maya or of battling, having impure thoughts, pure thoughts. That is the battle which is going on in the mind. So God says, if you are churning this knowledge, you will not have that battle. You will constantly be a conqueror of Maya. That is, you will be carefree because we'll be churning the knowledge, we'll be churning the points, we'll be churning what exactly has God taught us in a four-page murli, which is a spiritual dictate of God on a daily basis we receive it in the morning. Keep new points of knowledge daily in your awareness and churn them and you will enjoy yourself. And that is the most important thing. Either we churn about the problems in our life, either we churn about who's good to us, who's bad to us, either we churn about what is the future of our life, or we churn about the worries about the future. And God says, till today, everything has been taken care of because you followed my path, you followed me completely. So why do you worry? Just churn the knowledge, just follow what I've told you and just move on on your path of karma. Be a karma yogi. You will become constantly cheerful because by churning the treasures given to you by the Father, given to us by the Father, you experience them to be your own. That means he gives us wisdom to be the way he wants us to be so that we don't create any more sins, we don't get into any kind of entanglements anymore and we are protected by God on a daily basis. And that is the words of wisdom, the treasures of wisdom which God gives us on a daily basis. He wants us to churn them, that means to remember them, to think about them, to ponder over them, to go deep about them and to use them in situations. When you think about something deeply, it comes into an act. Thoughts become words and actions and then it, they become things. And that's what God is talking, trying to tell us. Churn the knowledge. Now what is this knowledge? One part of the blessing I've read out to you, imagine the depth of this knowledge. Imagine what would be there in the three or four pages above this. So you are most welcome to learn this beautiful knowledge at Brahma Kumaris and get this going in your life. It's beautiful wisdom. Om Shanti.